welcome to Ms. Mojo. And today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 girl groups of the 2000s. For this list, we'll be sticking to traditional pop and R&B groups that sing, as opposed to all-female bands that play instruments. Sorry, chicks. Which of these groups was your favorite? And which do you want to make a comeback? Let us know in the comments. Number 10. Bewitched. Let the fun begin. Although Bewitched burned brightest in the late 90s with songs like C'est La Vie, they continued their winning streak into the new millennium. In the early 2000s, the Irish girl group mostly focused on movie soundtracks, with songs making it into The Princess Diaries and Bring It On. Their music played a big role in the latter film, with their cover of Hey Mickey playing over the famous end credits. While Bewitched's music stayed firmly in bubblegum territory, their surprisingly cheeky lyrics helped set them apart from their peers. Despite disbanding in 2002, Bewitched will always be a fond reminder of our childhoods. Number 9. Play from ABBA to Robin, Sweden has always had their finger on the pulse of pop perfection. In terms of girl groups, this is most evident with Play. The early 2000s teens opened for acts like the late Aaron Carter and Destiny's Child on tour, and popularized the song Cinderella, which was later covered in The Cheetah Girls. But Play's biggest song was Us Against the World, a refreshing ode to female friendship that featured in Lizzie McGuire. They may have been one of the younger groups at the time, but Play certainly packed a punch during the first half of the decade. Number 8. Mystique our next group always kept things scandalous. The UK's answer to TLC, Mystique held down the fort for black girl groups across the pond when the scene wasn't very diverse. Combining elements of R&B, hip-hop, and garage music, their sound was cutting edge and ever eclectic. Eventually, Mystique's Britney-esque hit, Scandalous, managed to cross over to the US following its inclusion in 2004's Catwoman. The movie may not be well regarded, but at least it had a banging soundtrack. While Mystique's success was sadly cut short by the demise of their label, group rapper Alicia Dixon's solo career has continued to stay afloat. Even though it's been decades, a Mystique reunion is still all we want. Number 7. Girls' Generation some groups take time to warm up, but Girls' Generation was the full package from the beginning. The opening piano riff in their debut single, Into the New World, remains one of K-pop's most recognizable melodies, and G is forever one of the genre's best love songs. With nine members, you might expect some of them to get pushed to the back, but they all got a chance to shine. Prior to the takeover of BTS and Blackpink, you'd be hard-pressed to find a Korean act more well-known or beloved internationally. And no matter how many groups come and go, Girls' Generation will always have a special place in fans' hearts. Number 6. Atomic Kitten The tide was high, but they held on all right. At the beginning of the 2000s, Atomic Kitten was on the verge of being dropped by their label after some underperforming singles. However, they beat the odds and were able to turn it around with the success of Whole Again. Released as a last-ditch effort, the group had to convince their label to push the song. You can make me whole again. Thankfully, it paid off, allowing Atomic Kitten to achieve continued success afterwards with songs like Eternal Flame. All these years later, we cannot escape or forget their contributions to 2000s pop. Number 5. Sugababes 
Although they cycled through plenty of sounds and even more members, our next group was always a step ahead. The Sugar Babes first came onto the scene with Overload, a steamy spin on Jefferson Airplane's White Rabbit. But turning a trippy 60s classic into a dance floor-ready R&B jam wouldn't be their last stroke of genius. They continued their melodic magic on songs like Round Round and Push the Button, as well as the Kelly Clarkson-esque About You Now. While their name suggests they'd be a guilty pleasure, the Sugar Babes proved that mainstream pop could be surprisingly smart. Number 4. AKB48 When it comes to Japan's biggest girl group, they're really more of a girl troupe. Since its inception in 2005, AKB48 has literally amassed hundreds of members. The act's creator, Yasushi Akimoto, wanted to make a group that could perform for its fans daily in a special Tokyo theater just for them. The group is divided into teams that take turns, hence the large member count. Besides performing, AKB48 has also been successful on the charts with songs like Ai Takata and Heavy Rotation. They've since expanded their reach with sister groups in other Japanese cities, as well as other Asian countries. Despite kicking off in the 2000s, AKB48 shows no signs of slowing down. Number 3. The Pussycat Dolls Don't you wish they were still together? In the mid-2000s, the Pussycat Dolls evolved from a burlesque act into an actual music group. They served up risque hits like Buttons, which in retrospect isn't about an innocent arts and crafts project after all. But even though PCD often sang about provocative topics, it always seemed to come from a place of empowerment and agency. And although frontwoman Nicole Scherzinger was often the only member to actually sing, especially near the end, all of the dolls pulled their weight in the dance department. While behind-the-scenes cattiness may have marked the group's demise, we'll never forget when they were the number one chicks to step out on the scene. Don't you wish your girlfriend was hot like me? Oh, don't you wish your girlfriend was a freak like me? Number 2. Girls Aloud From the way they talk to the way that they walk, few could rival these UK pop stars. Although Girls Aloud was manufactured on a TV talent show, they soon eclipsed their cookie-cutter origins. From their very first single in 2002, Sound of the Underground, they led us on a decade-long journey of left-field lyrics and inventive production choices. Aided by songwriting team Xenomania, perhaps their magnum opus is the three songs in one biology. While the best-known member today is X Factor Judge Cheryl, all five brought something unique to the group and rarely overshadowed each other. In terms of post-Spice UK girl groups, Girls Aloud is untouchable. Before we unveil our top pick, here are a few honorable mentions. Black, the R&B group brought it all to us. Dream. Diddy's girl group picked petals off flowers. He loves me, he loves you not. Danity Kane, five showstoppers made the band. Las Ketchup, Spanish sisters paid homage to condiments. LW, where two cheetah girls earned their spots. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number 1. Destiny's Child 
I don't think they can handle this. After debuting in the late 90s, Destiny's Child perfected their lineup and dominated the 2000s as a trio. DC had positive messages of female empowerment in songs like Independent Women, and even coined some slang terms along the way. Bootylicious, anyone? Besides setting the stage for one of the biggest stars of our time in Beyonce, bandmates Kelly Rowland and Michelle Williams have also done well for themselves. And rather than breaking up due to group beef, the Daughters of Destiny moved on to their solo careers as close friends, showing that girl groups don't have to end in destruction. Keep on surviving. Do you agree with our picks? Check out this other recent clip from Ms. Mojo, and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.